They have been the talk of Amsterdam for several weeks. The Chinese Buddhist World Peace and Health Organization has set up shop in the Rug City and is buying up properties left and right. But there is some concern among residents about their increased presence. Steve Ferris is joining us now from Amsterdam, where the group has opened up its temple for the community to see just what they are all about. Good evening to you, Steve. Yeah, good evening, Kate. A number of Amsterdam residents coming out to the church you see in back of me. Uh, it was bought by a Buddhist group, as you mentioned, and uh, they've made some pretty big promises. So there's some folks who attended this meeting who are very hopeful as a result of those promises, while others think maybe this doesn't add up. They're trying to figure it out. I mean, I'm very hopeful if they could bring a, you know, some, a better any kind of betterment to Amsterdam and help the economy. Around 50 Amsterdam residents attending the Chinese Buddhist World Peace and Health Organization's open house at St. Casimir's Church, which they recently purchased for $180,000 from the city, renamed the Five Buddhist Temple, part of the 48 pieces of property they've purchased in Amsterdam since they arrived in 2006. So we are coming here to explain to the people here that Buddhism, Dharma, is so kind. Well, the group says they came because of a prophecy and say they want to improve the area. They hold yoga-like health classes. I experienced a group of people that are very dedicated, very disciplined. Um, the instruction that they gave was, was very calming. The yoga aspect was something very new to me I had never been introduced to before. They purchased a giant building at the shrine in Orysville, just outside of Amsterdam. They bought another old church in the city and are looking to buy Bacon Elementary School from the city school district after the school stopped using it to save money. It's, it's because we would like to have a place to have cultural exchange. The purchase officer was put in for $460,000, and by statute, that money needs to be given back to the taxpayers to lower the tax levy. So that's what we're hoping for. A vote on that potential sale is scheduled for October 5th, as residents are trying to make sense of a number of statements from the Honorable Holy Ziwang Shang Shi, who criticized two men suspected of stealing copper and a golden Buddha statue from them, calling them terrorists. Then there's this. We plan to invest $1 billion here. Shang Shi says they have a three-step plan for the city, offering health classes to increase everyone's lifespan, offer jobs to people, and say they'll give 10 properties away for the homeless to live in. They say they have billions of dollars and may build a solar power manufacturing plant, a hotel, and a place for tourism in the area. So where are these supposed billions of dollars coming from that's backing this group? Well, they won't say exactly, but they do say it's from an unnamed rich investor from China. One reason that the deputy mayor says there may be something lost in translation here. Billion dollars pretty much buys Amsterdam that lock, stock, and barrel. I said I came into here very into this very curious, and I'm leaving with a thousand more questions than I had before. <laughs> Now, after the press conference, I spoke with the spokeswoman for the group, and she said that mostly they wanted to get across the idea that they wouldn't be intimidated by the burglary of the copper pipes and that golden statue, but said that basically in the future, if more things like that happen, then the rich Chinese businessman behind them might be a little scared to invest in the city. Okay. All right, Steve Harris reporting for us in Amsterdam tonight. Thanks, Steve.